Hello everybody, this is Bladecross EXE, and welcome back to Fake Grand Order's Prisma Code event. Uh, in the last episode, we defeated Nursery Rhyme, and we found out that Miu is being held captive by somebody who I'm calling it is probably going to be Chloe Von Einsburn, a.k.a. Kuro, uh, a.k.a. the person who's on the poster of this, uh, this quest. You know, the chick who looks like Archer. So, uh, let's go ahead and continue on with Quest 2 Vi, the land of dragons and sea. Huh. Take Eli with me. And, yeah, pretty good lineup. Let's do this. Wow, it's the ocean. I can see a dolphin swimming over there, too. I still can't believe this is someone's imaginary world. Me neither. The scale of it is as large as a Holy Grail phenomenon. Speaking of which, we were lucky that Ruby was equipped with the navigation mode. You truly are an all-purpose. All purpose. Sailing wouldn't have been uh, possible if we'd been on our own. I'm surprised to see Ruby is actually helpful. Oh, you're praising me too much. Hey, I'm always helpful. No. No, you are not. I have 24 secret functions. I can do pretty much anything, you know. Yeah, everything was shut up. So just taking a refreshing voyage, why don't we eat? Yeah, food. That's a good idea. Oh, uh, these bento boxes are from Chaldea? Can we each choose our own? I can hardly decide. Ilya, which one would you like? Yay, I'm actually starving. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Mapo tofu. Ah, it's hot. Is this freshly made? What? Senpai, did you cook this yourself? A chef in a red overcoat taught you how? With the ingredients the doctor provided? When did you... The mapo tofu is amazing. I can actually eat it. It's not a dangerous looking color. It's a little bit spicy, yet slightly sweet. Aw, oh, I never imagined such mapo tofu existed in this world. Chef with red overcoat. It's gotta be Archer, because... That's reference to how Shiro likes to cook. Is that supposed to be your review of the dish? It's so tasty, yet yeah, comforting. But I'm... But I'm not sure if it's good enough to make you cry. Um, take your time, Elia. Mapo will never, never attack you, I think. It's so good. Hi, are you still eating? No need to stop, but just listen. There's some things that I need to confirm with Elia. You mentioned that uh, your ma you magical girls faced some trouble when you tried to move to the mirror world. How did you return to the real world you originally came from? Do you have any idea? I... I wasn't thinking about it at all. <laughs> wow, I'm amazed. That might be a secret to the power of magical girls. So going back is difficult after all. Um, Ruby, what's your view on this? Yes, let me see. Neither Ilya nor Miu can use spells that advanced. To be more exact, even if they somehow cast a spell, they wouldn't have the no skill or knowledge to precisely select the location to return to. I need them to figure it out themselves. After all, I'm just a stick. Actually, I have no problem with the way it is now, you know? No, it's a big problem. You're not being useful at all, Ruby. But, you're right. I was too busy thinking about Miu. I was forgetting about many things. I understand. You have your family and friends in the original world, Elia. Yes, Reen and Luvia. Sela, Lazary, my big brother. Everyone at the school. They might be worried about me. <gasps> What's wrong? You look very pale. Like pale, like pale blue sea. Oh my gosh, I forgot something very important. Chloe! I left Chloe behind in the real world! Well, that may be true, but I have a feeling that Chloe's uh, doing okay without you. Knowing Chloe, instead of worrying about you, she's probably happy to keep Shiro all to herself. She'd be all, woohoo, hey hey, yeah, shut up. That tan little devil's probably turning on her devilish charm and gloating right now. You should be worried about other things, like that. Remember that? Yes, I remember, but I wish I didn't. Huh? What is it? Can you please explain with words with that mouth of yours? Morals! Is Chloe a friend of Elia's? Um, Chloe is... She's like my twin sister, I guess. I'm sorry, it's a rather long story. It sounds pretty complicated. Hmm. I can't make empty promises, but I'll do all I can. The fact that your world and our world are connected in some sort of magical way is actually a very dangerous situation. If we're going to do anything, we need to be careful. Any news on the reality marble? I'm working on it too. Ah, I'm so busy these... Wait! Something's approaching you at high speed. Flying creatures. Ack! I have visual on a number of wyverns. Senpai! Jules still showing the same direction, so... Yes, understood. But, but I haven't eaten my dessert! Ruby, come back. We're transforming. Roger that. Steady. 
Rainbow Wyvern. Lancer class. Okay. Why Lancers of all things? Do this. Here we go. Smack, smack, smack. Not too difficult. So that's how you get lion toys. Okay. Medea, Medea Lily. Lord Jason, the intruders have broken through the Wyvern's defenses and are now approaching. <laughs> Mini Jason, you don't have to report every little thing to me. I can see that myself. I love the pink magical girl and a black magical girl who uh, looks both sturdy and squishy. If you ask me, the former is more gorgeous than you and the latter is more endowed. A crushing loss for your part, for a match to be decided before it's even begun. Geez, not even funny. Lord Jason, Lord Jason, please provide an accurate comparison for, of the enemies once again. Yes, I will rephrase my analysis. <laughs> Burnt, Jason. <laughs> the former's not as flowery, red, callous, as you, and the latter's not as sexy, red, crazy, as you. Uh, I suppose that would actually... Um... Like, kanji, I suppose. Because apparently, like... Apparently, languages that use kanji can have their symbols mean the same thing, and it, it doesn't work that way in English. So, what do you, now what do you think? Oh my, Lord Jason, what an embarrassing compliments you've brazenly given me. The lying is no good. The pink one's not as physically developed as I am, and the black one's clad in colder, more impersonal cl colors. Did she just ignore me so effortlessly? Whatever. In any case, I successfully uh, got around your unreasonable demands. You always make things a deadly venture, even in the even in casual conversation. Yes, I love peace, and I have no sympathy for intruder, intruders. I shall punish thieves. Sister Cersei uh, uh, said that after you, that you can ask them what their circumstances are after you punish the ends. Your punishment ends. Ugh, I can't read today. She's totally right. The land of dragons and sea isn't as sweet and as smart as well me. Everyone here is gentle, but people are happy. And they all worship me, or so it seems. But in actuality, this crazy queen who tortures any bad kitties into piggies, uh, no matter how small their crimes. That's the reality of this oceanic dictatorship, this Medea cycle land. <laughs> Help me! Lord Jason, did you, did you just say something? Nothing important, I was just giving a speech. Anyway, it's, t it's a war. We're fighting a war, Medea. It seems that the girls took the wyverns down without a hitch, and it's my great w wisdom I expected as much. What? See, so you are actually bringing out the big guns with those wyverns? Lord Jason, what on earth are you planning? <laughs> uh, what do you think is the best weapon to defeat your enemy in battle? 
It's not a powerful noble phantasm or a natural disaster. It's carelessness. It's being careless, Medea. A relaxed mentality is that poison that kills humans. I'll secretly make them realize that later. <laughs> I'll be very proud of myself after defeating those why after defeating those wyverns, and I'll be the one to break that pride. Of course, I will destroy them, ship and all. Remember, magical girls are stubborn as they come. Just when you think you defeated them, just when you breathe a sigh of relief, uh, there they are the next day. Rise and shine, Lord Jason, they'll say. It's morning, they'll say. That's my waking nightmare, so so that is a horror I will inflict upon them. Understood, so we make them deader than dead. Got it. Come, magical ship in a bottle, release. But please forgive me, I, I don't know how much to prepare for the ship. All I managed was five dozen dragon tooth warriors and a ram bearing the curse that decays the, on the enemy's keel. That's all I have on him. My apologies. So you always carry that around? How terrifying. I'm curious as to what your definition of peace-loving heart is. Yes, I'm not good in battle, but I'll do my best. All right, everyone, charge! Okay, you're not listening at all, but that's awesome. My wife is the best of the best. Okay, part two. Saber class. Saber and Archer. So let's go ahead and move her up here. Let's swap out... Saber Lily for Lancer. Where are you at? There you are. Boop, boop, there. But Master, now there's a galley charging at us. What? There's more? The, they don't have any intention to talk at all. Even if we were the ones who trespassed into their territory first, they're still so aggressive. Just hang in there, you two. I powered up with a yummy lunch, so I'm fine. I still haven't seen Ilya's Noble Phantasm yet. I might actually get my chance here soon if her Noble Phantasm gauge will power up a little bit more. Alright, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna pull it off. Alright, let's see. No offense, hasn't getting wasted on one enemy. Well, at least next time I got Rongo Mini, I'd uh, bust out. And a lot of Ely is no offense, hasn't too. Okay, now, Buster up. And what kind of old phantasm you got? Buster, okay. So let's go ahead and Buster you too. And bust for you again. And let's choose you first, because you're, you're, they don't resist you. Quintet Foyer. I think that's how you pronounce that. Bust up even further. Okay. Oh, double magical girl. Oh, does that mean that... Yeah, the day takes mocking an attack that stops Enuma leash. Oh, it's a single hit. Okay. 
Oh, dead anyway. Well, if she gets you both magical sticks, then... Shut up, Ruby. Anyways, so what I'm saying is, I guess that means that if she gets used both magical sticks for a noble phantasm, that means that Miu's never going to become a summonable servant. Honestly, I like I like Miu as as a character in Collide Liner better than Elia. Like, I definitely like Sapphire better than Ruby. Are you still alive, Gabriel? I know it's tough already, but you've got a servant to deal with. We're winning, but they won't let up. They're closing in on us. Is this the Kingdom's Magical Girl? She's a very cautious and well-prepared opponent. Yep, I can feel them getting closer. We have Nursery Rhyme Stone to thank for that. Ah, it's them. That's... Greetings, visitors from another world. I'm Medea. The Magical Girl of Love and Healing. Medical Medea. A pleasure to meet you. That, that outfit. Ruby. She... Yep, it's a little different, but that formerly a nice slit is definitely Caster. Caster, the mage servant, Ilya's first real opponent. Yes, that's right. I'm sorry about what happened. I'm Ilya. Ilya's Viel von Einsburn. Ilya, do you know her? Yes, but she may not know me. Oh, who's that handsome doll? Are we acquaintances? Oh my. I wouldn't have been so rough if I'd known. I'm sorry. I don't dwell on the past, so even if we were friends... Why don't we forget all about that and just focus on the present? It's easier to forget that bad things happened in the past, right? Huh? Yes, so let's forget about our battle just now. We can chalk it up to a mistake on both sides. She lowered her staff. Whatever the case, I'm glad the fight's over. I think we can resolve this by talking, like magical girls are supposed to do. Uh, I'm not so sure. Talking? That's a wonderful idea. If we could just, uh, if you could just take an opponent's life just through conversation, that's better than fighting. That's how you obtain that jewel, isn't it? The jewel covered in the blood of its former owner? Which Kingdom's Magical Girl did you kill? I'm sure it was a very difficult fight. W would you tell me how you did it? I'd like to know, just for reference, of course. Th that's not how it happened, Medea. I did end up battling a Magical Girl, but we, we didn't try to kill each other. Nursery gave this to me. I see. I understand. So you came from Nursery Rhyme's Kingdom, and now you've come to take my jewel. <laughs> how energetic and strong-minded you are. As a magical girl, you're not someone I can welcome, but as a queen, you're not someone I can ignore either. Am I right, Lord Jason? They say that they say they're gathering jewels. I would like to praise you for your bravery and recklessness. Everyone, would you come to my castle? Tell me of your travels on the way. It's been centuries since I've been able to talk to a magical girl. Blood covered jewel. Anyway, like I was saying, I'd rather have Miu in this game because I like Ilya, but I like her other incarnations rather than this one, and I just hate Ruby. But Miu actually wasn't really that bad. Like, I even like Sapphire, all right. So honestly, if it came down to choosing one or the other, if I could pick, I'd rather have Miu. Ocean Castle, all right? I think we got time for one cutscene, then we'll call it quits for this episode. This castle belongs to me and Lord Jason. Please come inside. Psst, Lord Jason, does she mean that doll? I think so. Can I ask you a question? Anything you like, as long as it's something I remember. Oh, but I already know what you're going to ask. You're thinking I might be Medea, the heroic spirit of the Princess of Colchis, right? <laughs> well, you're wrong. It's true that I was born from Princess Medea, yes. But I'm not the servant you think I am. Even if she exists in your world, it's a different person. I am merely modeled after Princess Medea. I am but a young girl's fantasy. I act like Medea, I get sad like her, I laugh like her, and I live happily in the tiny world I was given. The servant system is an active summoning system, but we are passive, we're born from the unconscious. Our purpose was different from the start. A different purpose? You didn't come here because you were summoned? That's right, I was wished to be this way. And there is no final goal in this wish. There's only a sudden end. Even if we save the world, we weren't able to end it. Because as long as we saw it, the next story would soon begin. But that's all in the past for now. Now that I've found myself here. I see. I understand your situation. So unlike Elia, you wanted to hear from a different world, did you, Gabriel? To find oneself in a strange land and not know what to do 
the helpless feeling is something I know well. So, I won't turn you into a pig. To tell you the truth, that wasn't my original intention when I invited you here. Or that was. Yeah. Oh, I knew it. This, ca this castle reeked of ash. Probably all the walls ready to scatter special caustic lime. Stuff that would turn you into little piglets. As expected from the priestess of the Age of the Gods, her magecraft is on a different level than ours. Huh? Ruby, you should have said that earlier! Oh, but, but, but if you're going to leave Gabriel be, then you can do the same for me? No, you're different. You're a magical girl. I'm very cruel to magical girls. What? I, but I don't... But... I don't want to be betrayed by somebody. No, but I don't want to be betrayed anymore. That girl won't betray me? I should trust your eyes? She's talking to Jason again. We can't hear him, though. Very well. This is what Lord Jason says. That magical girl isn't smart enough to lie. Her heart is free of deceit as her chest is of breasts. Excuse me, but I... Can I karate chop him? What? No, I'm the only one who can have my way with Lord Jason, so please don't. Anyway, Lord Jason is being gentlemanly for once. He's saying to call off the sneak attack and talk with you instead. Oh, um, that's what we were playing from the start, so we can talk all you want. No, I'm not interested in your problems. I don't care about other magical girls. What I'm going to offer you is a peaceful trade. This island and this castle remind me of Corinth. I simply want to continue my tranquil life here. Whatever you do outside this land, I promise I won't interfere. That's fine with me. Does everyone else agree? Yep, of course. If we weren't attacked out of nowhere like that, then we wouldn't have... Right, Mash? But what about the Jewel's Guidance? And what did you mean by trade? I meant just that. Just as I won't interfere with your business, you won't interfere with mine. And no, no matter how much you want it, you can't have this jewel. I've named it the Tomoy Stone. This stone is what supports the Oceanic Kingdom and gives me my powers. This world is big, but it's also tightly closed. There are once many more magical girls here. They all wanted kingdoms of their own, so they fought with and stole from each other. I was one of those girls. I'm a healer. A medical, magical girl. I, I barely have any means of attacking. The most I have is a mental offense and divine punishment. Things like pig transformation, tiny world confinement, and so on. The battle is very difficult, and I was relatively weak as a magical girl, after all. It's like hearing an amazing swimmer say, but I don't know how to fly. I'm not sure, but I think Jason is saying there's nobody as scary as you. Silence, you barbarians who specialize in destruction. Speaking of which, I want to try a Buster Noble Phantasm too. Ahem, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll get back on topic. The magical girls fought each other in pursuit of their own ideals for peace and order. It was a clash of values and world views. I tried to run from the fierce combat, but it was impossible. Each time an enemy came, I would just stab, 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 and stab some more. Stab what now? Master, it's probably best to ignore that. Uh, who knows when Rule Breaker might show up. But before long, the stone appeared in my hand, and the stone that appeared in my hand grew away and shone brighter each time I fought. I can tell the stone was a catalyst that supports this fantasy. Uh, what of the area outside this kingdom's jurisdiction? You must be talking about the areas where the magical girl's influence doesn't reach. That's the neutral zone, a buffer zone uh, born from the balance of power that all the fighting gave rise to. You cannot receive the blessing of your powers there. Do you understand? The jewel is only a small hope I have left. Taking this from me will be equivalent to my death. So the only thing I can give you is a promise to leave you alone. Elia, I won't try to steal your jewel. So please leave. With that jewel, you can create whatever land you want. If you, wanted to, if you want something, use your stone to get it instead. If you want your friends, then make a land of friends. I'm sure it'll be wonderful. A place where everyone who visits you will become your friend. That isn't right. I don't want more friends. I want to I want to be with the one I already have. We go to school together. We laugh together. Sometimes we fight and we go our separate ways, but even then, a long before long our desire to see each other again becomes too great. I was able to meet someone like that. Someone as important to me as myself. So I don't need anything else. Compared to you and your wish just to live in peace, I know it's a very greedy and selfish goal, but I'm sorry, please, I came here to save my friend. I'm not here to steal your jewel. I don't even really know what they do. You know a lot about this world. If you could just give us some clues. A way to get out? It may seem cruel, Ilya, but you cannot leave this world now. 
Not only can you s not save your friend, there's no exit for you either. As long as you're a magical girl. No, you, uh, w no, you won't even have the will to leave. That's how desperate this place is. In the end, you will always be a weak magic user, a weak magical girl. One who can only make miracles happen for the sake of her friends. So in the end, you will definitely come to rely on the power of that jewel. Just like we did, burning each other to ash as we clung to that tiny hope. In the end, I'm going to rely on this jewel. Give up on this Miu girl. If you want to know how to make friends, I'll happily teach you. That is one thing I can do for Nursery Rhyme, the girl who gave you that jewel and disappeared. Huh? Well, wait. D d does that... The jewels are our wishes, is where our wishes dwell. They are the last light that keeps us alive. When Nursery Rhyme let hers go, she quickly vanished into nothingness. Of course, there's no need for you to be sad. That was her choice. And even without waiting for her destruction, that greedy Met, queen of the land of snow and honey, would never ignore her. The land of sweets will fall into Met's forces sooner or later. Perhaps the nursery let you uh, escape from Meb's clutches. No. No, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I'm sorry, nursery. B but I... I have to... I have to save Mew no matter what. Oh dear. It's probably your stubbornness that drove nursery to action. Or maybe she's just given up on herself and she was on the verge of disappearing. Even if she could not do it, she entrusted her hopes to someone promising who still... Ah, jeez! It's so stupid! That's the problem with sugar brain magical girls who come from fairy tales. Medea? What is this dangerous aura around her? Half-assed hope! How many times do you have to get betrayed uh, before... How many times do you have to get betrayed before they're satisfied? Wake up, Lord Jason. Let me hear some of those nasty little comments you always make. Huh? Jason changed. <laughs> this is great. The type of person Medea wants to see in the least in the world has come to visit her. Someone who keeps going on, even towards uncertainty. Someone who tries hard, even if they don't know how. Someone who does their best, no matter how battered and bruised they get. Someone who doesn't even think about compensation. Medea, just like you when you were in the temple, before you joined me. That's why you're showing your true self. What you're feeling isn't anger born of hatred. It's righteous rage born of sorrow. Don't tell me that after all this, you're feeling sorry for yourself and wishing you tried a little harder. No, I wasn't... I didn't... I am the queen of the land of dragons and sea, a priestess to the goddess Hecate. You were never able to become king, no matter what you did, so I built a kingdom for you and settled down. Yes, that's right. Uh, you couldn't even kill yourself, so that's so that's what you were right for. Which means now, you must follow your own fate. You can work, work hard, and work even harder. A uh, magical girl is about doing things the right way, right? Um, that's, that's right. That's right. I'll do it. I'll get to work. Good answer. Let's see, to start with the Spartaw family, the adventure on Siren Island, a diorama that has a long ways to go. Right, Lord Jason. Plus that 148 scale Argo Kid with Super Mobile DX Talos are still in their boxes. You're not going to call yourself Greece's greatest builder without completing those two, are you? Aren't you embarrassed? I'm sorry, Lord Jason. Uh, I, I gave the talents to Europa. Uh, what are they talking about? Oh, mo scale models, like like in Carnival Phantasm, yeah. Huh? I'm having trouble following this. Alright, you're finally fired up. It was worth making you talk to those people, even if it was a pain. That non-aggression pact is useless now. We're dang lucky a jewel came before this, before Mev arrived. You lost will the fight, so this is truly your last chance. All you can do is heal? Don't be stupid, Ignoramus. I think you're great. Right, my pretty little Medea? Tell me once more just how violent it is to not be able to die in battle. Right, thank you. I will. I will. Um... It looks like she couldn't handle her guilty conscience as a healing-type magical girl and pushed all of her will to fight onto her familiar. It's common for magical girls' impurity to be dependent like that. I didn't want to know that, and Medea looks like she really wants to fight. Oh, Mash, are, are you going to transform? Medea won't be an easy opponent. If we have to, we can use the ray shift to at least get Master out of here and... Doctor? Doctor? Doctor! Catching with Chaldea has been cut off? Of course it has. Don't nurse me to modeler. When I use an airbrush, I always mask things up properly. I severed your link with the outside world the minute you arrived at this castle. Ugh. I'm sure you noticed, Master. 
but this castle is surrounded not just by humanoids, but by large creatures as well. Here we go again! Are Master Girls supposed to become friends after talking to each other? <laughs> You're one to talk, aren't you? I know you feel, but don't give in. Gabriel. That's right. I can't cause any more trouble for them. Right. I'll do what I can. Defeat Medical Medea. That's what it says. So, is she going to summon a demon pillar or we're going to fight a giant Jason? <laughs> be like a giant Jason, like, uh, like Nobunaga. Like the, the Nobus from the quest. Okay, well that's all we have time for today. Yeah, we've got Medea Lily as our next opponent. So we'll pick that up next time. This has been Blade Cross EXE, part of Flash and Blades Productions. Thank you all so much for watching, and tune in next time. Peace out.